What's up, guys? Okay, so I've been messing around with oil trail jiggy shot, and I think I came up with a pretty good setup for it. So let me show you real quick. All right, so walk in, and you you immediately hold C left, break talent shot, and fall on this pipe. Zoom all the way in. So now the first thing I look for here is this the corner, the left corner of the pipe. All right, so hold on. I'm gonna use my scuffed arrow to help point this out. <laughs> right here, the corner of the pipe. Okay, hold on. Right there, center with crouching and R. And look at this corner. So now from here, there's this orange dot that I'm looking for, which is right here. See that? It's like this small orange dot. And what I want to do with that is I want to center Banjo with that. Like, like so. And more or less. Okay, so from here, with those two factors in mind. Um, Alright, so you see how there's this black line that I'm standing on? And then below is this white space. So what you want to look out for is the corner of Banjo's right heel. So like right there. The corner of his heel, you want to be barely touching the white space. This actually might be good. So you want it to be barely touching the white space or you want to be just a little above it. If you're too far below, like this, oh, hold on, I don't want to fall. Okay, so that looks too far below. If you're too far below, the wall of the pipe will be blocking you from getting a good angle. So yeah, you don't want that, but you want either to be barely touching the white spot with his right, the corner of his right heel, or you want there to be just a sliver of black space between the corner and the white space. So this actually looks pretty good. Okay, so you see how there's a black crack you can kind of see there? Uh, it's okay if you can barely see it or if you see it a lot or whatever, this looks fine. Uh, so if you get an angle like this, from here you want to look at the black blotch on the wall. Let me use the arrow. Right there, the black blotch. And what you want to do is aim for the left side of this blotch, like right here. You see how it's kind of flat in a way, the blotch? You want to aim like right there. Okay, so in this scenario, what you want to do is you don't want to be completely centered. You want to be just slightly below center, like that. As long as the test area goes through, the clockwork will go through, obviously, and then you'll always land in here. So yeah, it's guaranteed that the clockwork will go where you want it to go. It's not like toxic waste shot, for example, where if your angle is off a little bit, then you'll miss the area you want to go to or whatever. Um, but yeah, okay, so there's also a scenario where you won't be able to see this black line, but it will still be good. And that's if you're a bit further up than this. So like you'll see black space more. So let's see, let's see if I can get it. Maybe? No, it's too far up. Yeah, okay, so is more or less what I'm talking about. You can't really see the black line, but the angle still looks good. Like it looks similar to the one that I had before. So in this scenario, you want to aim in the same spot to the left of this black blotch, and you want to center your cursor instead of going a little below. So like that. Wait. More or less, you get the idea. 
in the end, it's just like any other clockwork shot. You kind of got to fidget it around a little bit, get it to work. But that's the general idea of it. So yeah, let me do it all again. Just to recap. Okay. like that so yeah I mean I know it doesn't save too much time but I do think it's definitely feasible to do and run so maybe with some practice it can start being implemented or something all right well hope you enjoyed <laughs>